Okay, so here we are back with Sunny. Yeah, and she's actually already been pretty well groomed. Um, but for the purposes of this video, we'll just kind of go through the steps that we take with her. And then uh, I think the only thing that hasn't been done is picking her hooves. So that might be a little gross, but here we go. So first we're gonna start with our curry comb here our curry comb and we use this to lift up all of the old dirt and skin like old skin and um, hair you know they're shedding right now like crazy so pretty much we would just you know go through her whole body only on the legs down to the knee Right, and here, feels so good. All the way, and we're going kind of against, against the way her fur grows, just to try to really loosen everything up. She's super fuzzy still right now. So, I mean, look at her neck. See that? Like, she's super fuzzy still. I don't know if that worked or not, but. And then we would do the other side and just, so that she feels nice and even. Do that really quickly. Oh, she's telling me where it feels good. Oh yeah. Get under the mane. All her itchy spots. Just like that. Okay. And on her belly, she lets me go pretty far back. She's pretty comfortable with me. Had her a long time. So, kind of get in here. She loves that. All right, so that's what we do with curry comb. Looks like this. Okay. Then we have our harder bristle brush that we use to flick off the dirt and everything that was kind of just brought to the surface. So I do pretty short, pretty short strokes with a flick at the end to kind of get all that going for her. And again, I'm just, if I was doing this to ride her, I would do a better job, but I've already kind of done it this morning. So this is just after a ride, it just feels good for her, especially if she was sweaty, which she's really not because we're in Colorado and it's not very, it's not very hot right now. But if she was sweaty, this would help also. Curry comb would lift up all the sweat and icky in this. Get it out and you can see she loves it. She's like, oh God, oh. <laughs> And she tried to rest her chin on the, she likes to take little naps when I do this and rest her chin on the top of the post. <laughs> All right, so. This for her. Okay. And then we would take our softer brush this one All right it has longer bristles and they're just softer and we have our, our metal metal brush here so that we can continuously go like that so that every time we brush her it's with a clean brush and this is just going to smooth everything down Feels good, massages her, feels wonderful probably. Oh yeah. Right, just like that. And I'll just do it on the other side really quick for her. Your mane, just so that she feels even. I know if I get a massage and I only get one side done. 
Oh, that just feels terrible. So, and again, this is just pretty quick, just for our video. Also, all the horses are freaking out because of this new mare. So she's anxious to get back out there. All right. So, Okay, there you go. So I do have one thing in my in my grooming arsenal that was not covered by the video. And that is so the video talked about doing something, I forget what they called it. Um it, it was like a softer uh brush that you, a finishing brush that you could use. Um and I don't actually have that. So my other option would be to use like a damp cloth and kind of smooth her out. But I also really enjoy my lava stone. It's kind of amazing, I think. Makes them pretty shiny, it feels good, and it gets out a ton of shedding hair like this. 